the spirit. The one thing they wanted me to start, because there's so many people that are at different levels here in their spiritual development, is I started a little series called Your Psychic Toolbox. So we talk about different tools uh, that we can add to our psychic toolbox, if you will. Some people I'm finding aren't liking the word psychic. I use it because even people that aren't following their spiritual path or a light worker is that they understand what psychic means. Anyways, as I was talking about, we're going to start with a lesson for those of you just joining in. And it's another piece of the tools, or piece of a tool, I guess, that you can add to your psychic toolbox. And it's not so much a technique tonight, it's how to get into that high vibrational space. And I posted about an hour ago a link to a song. They're actually my favorite band, but, or one of them. The reason why I posted this song is Spirit drew my attention to it yesterday. Of course, we always listen to a song, sometimes we know the lyrics. But what really happened was they really made me pay attention to what was being said. And I've actually printed it out and I'm going to read it to you. And we're going to go through this a little bit. And I'm going to explain why Spirit wanted to share this with you guys. I also said if you have some favorite songs when we're finished, I'd love to hear what helps put you in a high vibe mood and which helps you recognize the power within yourself to empower yourself. The song is called I Am The Fire. And the words are... Am I brave enough? Am I strong enough to follow the desire that burns from within? To push away my fear? To stand where I'm afraid? I am through with this because I am more than this. I promise to myself alone and no one else. My flame is rising higher. I am the fire. I am burning brighter roaring like a storm. I am the one I have been waiting for, screaming like a siren, alive and burning brighter. I am the fire. I've been sacrificed. My heart's been cauterized, hanging on to hope, shackled by the ghost of what I once believed that I could never be. What's right in front of me? I am the fire. I am burning brighter. Roaring like a storm. I am the one that I have been waiting for. Screaming like a siren. Alive and burning brighter. I am the fire. I don't believe I'll fall from grace. The re and it talks about the past. It's quite a long song. It talks about the past not taking the place of where this person is. The person that wrote it, actually, her name is Lizzie Elizabeth or Lizzie Hale. But the reason why Spirit drew my attention to these lyrics, I was driving and I was having my conversation that I usually have with Spirit before we I decide what we're going to teach on in our Saturday Night Angel Party. And this song happened to come on the radio and... Spirit had a conversation with me while I was driving about really listen to the lyrics of this song because this really epitomizes why all of us are here, what our purpose is. We didn't come here by accident, believe it or not, and I truly believe this, that we chose to incarnate into this lifetime. We are spiritual, eternal beings that chose to have a physical incarnation into this lifetime to help us learn lessons, life lessons. There are things that we set forth for ourselves to learn and also a path to help us learn. What the, and it could be anything. It could be something like learning patience, learning compassion. It could be all kinds of, of scenarios, including the fact that we also have soul groups. We can really get into a deep topic and that'll be another night talking about the Akashic records and, and how we actually choose what we decide what we're gonna come to earth with or wherever because we've had many, many past lives, most of us. Some of us are new souls, but when we choose, we also have free will. So with free will, and we always have a choice. You all sometimes hear somebody say, well, I didn't have a choice. I've said it myself. We all have a choice. The problem is sometimes we don't want to make that other choice. But including with that free will, we have the choice to come 
completely come here through this lifetime and accomplish absolutely nothing that we set forth for our goals for ourselves before we were born into this life that we're in right now. And that's okay. But I'm going to get back to these lyrics and I think it's important because we are light workers. We are here for a purpose. We are here to show the way. We are here to light our light to practice and go forth in love. And the things that I love when we, especially when we're going through a spiritual awakening or we're starting to discover our gifts, some of the words that really embody that is, am I brave enough? Am I strong enough to follow the desire that burns from within? And you're here for a reason. You've heard that call. You've heard that you know, there's something, there's something you're not, maybe not quite sure, or maybe you're already well on your path. But the biggest part I find with light work, with embodying the gifts that we all have, we all have psychic intuition, we all have that, that sixth sense, if you will, and I always like to liken it that when we come into, when we're born, some people are natural born athletes, some are natural born artists. You could be really great with numbers and so on and so forth. But does that mean that you can't learn to do something else? Absolutely not. So what I'm getting at, the point I'm talking about right now is, yes, maybe you're clairaudient, you're able to hear spirit well, but maybe you're not able to see spirit yet or as it's referred to as clairvoyant or Maybe you've always really felt the call or you've really resonated with somebody that's a medium and you keep thinking, geez, I don't think I could do that. Well, one of the really beautiful things is we all have a higher self and our higher self is directly connected to source energy. Source energy, we are all one. And with having that connection, which we all have, we have everything we need right within us. If you're a follower of the Bible, one of the big things I always remember from it from being raised Catholic, I don't follow Catholicism anymore, I refer to myself as spiritual, but ask and it will be given. So when we start working with spirit, we start working with our guides, we start working with our angels and our whole spiritual team. We have ascended masters, we have elementals, there's intergalactics, there's a whole host of spiritual energy and guides that are with us throughout our entire lifetime, whether we recognize that or not. We just have to ask and it will be given. It may take a little bit of work, it may take a little bit of practice, because it's almost like a muscle is what I like to say. Some things come naturally, but whatever you feel that draw or call to, it is possible. But like I said, you may need to have a little bit of practice, but part of that is being brave enough, trusting in yourself, trusting in that connection with source energy that you have everything you need. Am I strong enough? Part of that's going to be maybe when you decide to step forth. I've heard this many times, including myself, that when we step forth into this path as a quote unquote light worker, there are going to be people that maybe aren't too crazy about that. They may not like the changes in you. And that's what I really felt that resonated. This is the part that Spirit pointed out to me about being brave enough and strong enough. Does it mean that if we decide to cut those ties with the people that aren't supportive of our new path in life, are we doing that in anger? Are we doing that, you know, I don't even want to use the word hate, but, you know, anger or real dislike of that person? No. We, we send them love. We embrace them. But they've got their own path and we know what our path is. We are here for a reason. To follow the desire that burns from within. We all felt that call. And it, it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger with spirit. The more you connect. Now, one of the tantamount pieces to really being able to hear your guides, besides just asking, is meditation. Daily practice of meditation, if possible. And if you're a super busy person, I'm one of those people. Sometimes you don't, you don't have two hours or an hour to spend with spirit, you know, meditating. But what I'll do is at least spend at least 10 minutes a day. I have conversations all day long with spirit. It's just the way it works for me. I've always been able to hear. But 
that can come for you too if that's something you desire. But the other thing that I like to do is if I know I've got a really crazy busy day, you know what? And it was Trisha Carr, one of my mentors and teachers and one of the teachers in the lab here who first told me when I was, I was going along this path a few years ago saying, you know, I didn't know if I could meditate. I've been told not to. I've spoken before. I've had some paranormal activity in my house within through the years following my light worker path has diminished that but I remember her saying to me specifically I called into her show that she has on Sundays and she didn't want to say it and spirit got her to say it was we all have time to go to the bathroom and we do and you know what so you got a five minutes in there or you're at work and you take a lunch break go out for a walk outside spend some time you know some quiet time just quieting your mind a couple deep breaths throughout the day that is when it's most easiest to hear spirit especially when we're connecting and knowing what that feels like knowing what it sounds like the other words in here it says i'm through with this maybe you're not maybe your heart is sort of calling you in the direction that you're not happy with the path that you're following that's why it's this fire this this passion this light that's burning within you and you're following this i congratulate you it says because i am more than this i promise to myself and alone and no one else my flame is rising higher and with the lyric or the main cor chorus of the song saying i am the fire the way spirit showed it to me, we're not coming from an egotistical point of view that we're the fire, we're the best, we're the greatest. What it's saying is stand up. You are made. You are connected to source energy. We're connected all to one. Sh stand up. Show that light. Shine it for everybody. And there's nothing wrong with that. We're not, when we're coming from a place of love and we're doing this for others, meaning that we're igniting that flame or that light we're doing so again in love but also in keeping in mind with when we're working with others or shining that light that it's for their highest good and from a place of your highest good if you will the one that really really stood out for me is and you will hear people say this throughout life that I'm not happy, I'm not happy, you know, I don't have who I want in my life, I'm alone, I feel so lonely, and there's nothing wrong, no judgment with that, that's not what I'm saying, but I love these words. I am the one I've been waiting for. To me, that stood out so strongly because you are all you need. And you've been the one you've been waiting for. Recognize that power within, the strength, the beauty of it all, the loving heart that you have, the voice that you have to step forward and spread those messages of love to, because that's what being a light worker is, shining that light, being that, you know, there's people all around maybe in lower vibrational states or they're, you know, you hear the state of the world and everybody seems to feel that everything's so negative and, and awful. Is it really though? Where are we shining our light? Where is the light being shone on the negativity, on all the awful things in the world? And there's a lot of beautiful, wonderful things going on if we choose to shine our light towards those types of things it says I've been sacrificed my heart's been cauterized of course we've all I don't I don't want to say sacrifice those were the words I guess she chose in the song but I'm saying my heart's been cauterized we've all had a broken heart we've all had things that have led us up to this point in life but basically with these words that she was talking about including not you know leave my past in its place and I believe she said, um, leave forgiveness in its place. And she was talking about going forward in love and including when you embrace this path. And again, if there's some people that may not be so happy with the changes you're making in your life, I'm going to reiterate this with the fact that we're going forward with forgiveness in our heart, with love. We embrace them. We wish them well. But we're here for our purpose, just like they are. They have their own life path. And if this is what inspires you and what you want to do with your life, 
this is I read like I said it just meant a lot to me reading these or hearing these lyrics I printed them out it said hanging on to hope shackled by the ghost of what I once believed so basically the way spirit showed that to me was that everything we've gone through in life the good the not so great maybe even bad it's made you the person that you are today embrace it all living in the past doesn't bring us forward and whatever happened in the past is the past all we have is the here and now the future nobody knows what the future holds but embrace it embrace who it's made you including any scars any wrinkles I call those badges of courage if you will because it's who you are today is what matters and the choices that you choose and like I said, I'm so glad that you're here because you are, if you're here, you're, you're following your light worker path. I just love that it says, I am the fire, I am burning brighter. The more you embrace this and, and the more that you choose positivity, love, light, does it mean we're perfect? No. Does it mean we're going to live this way, you know, a hundred percent of the time every day? No, life happens, but it's, and I think I, about, I talked about this last week, about the fact that positivity and choosing to be in a high vibration, does it take work? Absolutely. But you have that choice every day when you wake up in the morning. And you know what? Say it slips me. You know what? We get mad. We, we, ha we get angry at people. We, we have people that, you know, might annoy us or people we may not want to be around. That's okay. You know, acknowledge it. No judgment, forgive yourself, forgive them, send them love, and carry on with your day. And like I said, this is all intertwined with positivity, light, and love. We we're really talking about this and about going forward with not living in fear, but going forward with connecting with the, the earth, basically, that we live on here. And, you know, she was talking about grounding and gritting and how important that is to sort of keep us connected because we're meant as human beings to run energy from source energy all the way through our energy centers. For the, those of you maybe that may be new, we have chakras. And that's something else, like I said, there's a whole thing we could get into and I don't want to keep talking. It was going to be a fast lesson tonight, but I'd love to hear about the songs that really empower you. What makes you feel good? What helps you get into that high vibe state? Are there lyrics that really draw your heart to it? Really, really embody, put you in that great mood, make you want to go forward and share that? Let's share that with one another. I had a whole list here, but like I said, Spirit showed me this that like really drew my attention because it really came into play actually with Lauren last night as well as I uh, connected with a few people yesterday and it became really, really clear to me with this message. So I'd love for you to listen to the lyrics or if there's a song that really does it for you that really helps you to want to step up, to, to have that strength, to have that courage to go forward. And when we start to have that courage, that trust in spirit, that's when it becomes a little bit easier to hear them, including, like I said, the practice of meditation, the practice of looking at life, where do you want to go with things, taking stock of even what your gifts are, or if you're not really sure, that's okay. Like I said, once we go into meditation and we spend some time with spirit, and this is something I learned myself as well. Do you know that Spirit will hold classes with you? They have classes over on the other side, I've been shown. Because everybody has a role on that side as well. When we go back home, if you will, back to Source, Heaven, whatever name you may want to call it. So, if there's more things you want to learn, you can certainly set that up. You can set that up with your angels. Your angels are only a call away. If you're not sure who your angels are or your guides, you can ask. And the only reason why I keep speaking about meditation is because we don't have this, you'll hear mon the monkey mind or our frontal lobes or our brain that we think with all day long. When we're able to quiet that, that's when we're better able to hear from spirit. 
So the only, like I said, that's basically what I wanted to talk about was empowering you, getting you to recognize why you are here. You will know within your heart if there's things that you're questioning or things you're wondering or should I or shouldn't I, have the courage to step forward. You've got everything you need from spirit. 